Okay, I realize we're into discussion time, so I'll, I'll cut down my paper. Um, my name is Kevin Whalen. I'm an assistant professor of Native Studies and History at the University of Minnesota Morris. Um, thank you, Karen Ho, for, for inviting uh, myself and my colleague, Becca Gherkin, um, to participate. Um, and thank you to my fellow panelists, or to the panelists, um, really powerful papers, and, and I'm honored to play a small part today. So, um, okay, so just to give you an idea of, of where I'm going here. Um, I teach at the University of Minnesota Morris. I am a non-native person. Um, I graduated from Morris 10 years ago. My time at Morris um, led me into to researching boarding school histories because Morris is a former uh, federal Indian boarding school and Catholic boarding school. Um, and so a few really brief details. Uh, the school was founded um, in 1887 by Sister Mary Joseph Lynch, who was a member of uh, the Sisters of Mercy. Um, it operated as a Catholic boarding school for um, uh, until um, 1896, uh, when the federal government took over operation of the school. Um, it operated as a federal institution until 1909. I had some things written, but I'll just say this. Um, I just I encourage you to just think back uh, to our earlier presentation on boarding schools because all of those things happened at Morris and um, and I'm going to leave it at that and I'll go into more detail tomorrow when I give a, a longer more formal presentation with my colleague Becca Gherkin. Um, okay, so what I really want to talk about today um, a, as a result of our boarding school past at Morris, um, we have a tuition waiver for federally enrolled. Uh, students and descendants of federally enrolled tribal members and for uh, descendants of um, members of First Nations communities in Canada as well. Um, and the question I want to address is one that is often brought up on campus. Um, we have 25% 20, of our students are, na are native at Morris. That's around 400 students out of um, just short of 1,700 on campus. And so a conversation that often happens right? Why do these students get this for free? Right? Um, and so, you know, I was coming out of the bathroom um, last year, and I heard a, a student on the phone, a non-native student. I don't know who he was talking to, but he said, you know, we give them, presumably native people, we give them money, right? We give them land. We, and, and we give them, we give them tuition at our institution, right? We give them free school, right? Um, and so this brings me back to thinking about um, should we frame our tuition waiver in terms of, of reparations? And for me, the answer ultimately is not a hard no, but, but um, I think reparations can't be the only way in which we think about and talk about the tuition waiver at Morris. And, and I really see um, the tuition waiver as coming out of um, treaties um, because every single treaty between Native nations and, um, and the United States contains provisions for education. I don't know if it's every single one. I'm just gonna say every single one. If someone knows the one that doesn't, um, yeah, you can prove me wrong. Um, but, um, so, um, when the school was passed from um, the state of Minnesota, or I'm sorry, from the federal government to the state of Minnesota um, in 1909, for whatever reason, uh, federal legislators and state legislators said um, they passed uh, concurrent bills, one federal, one state. They said all Native students, all Native people um, who are admitted to this school should go here free of tuition in perpetuity for as long as it's a school, right? And so um, ultimately, you know, as we honor um, the commitment um, to the tuition waiver, um, it's, um, you know, we certainly we certainly have ideas like reconciliation and reparation in our minds, in our Native Studies program, and in the institution more broadly. But the bottom line is, we're honoring state, we're following state and federal law, right? Um, and as the tuition waiver, right, as board, the boarding school at Morris was born out of the treaties, right, and then the legislation that passed over, the, passed the boarding school uh, from 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 the federal government to the state harken back to those treaties, right? So it's about, it's about honoring those treaties and about fulfilling our legal obligations um, with, with um, I think, with ideas about reconciliation and reparation. 
as complicated as they can be, um, keeping those in mind as well. Okay, thank you.